Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. Today, I want to talk to you about putting your priorities in the right place. Trust me, I lived long enough to know that priorities should be high on your list as far as four things I just want to explain to you about this. One is when it comes to your health and well-being, right? So that means your physical health and your mental well-being, your mental health, right? Make sure you exercise, you diet, uh, like me many times, struggle with getting your proper sleep. Uh, make sure you're um, in the right kind of environments that provide self-care for you and nurture uh, your mental well-being where you're not in uh, chronic stress and things that eat you up on the inside, right, and, and in your mindset. Um, you got to get in the place where that um, you prioritize your health and well-being. I was talking with one of my friends, um, Dennis Paris and Lil Monk, and uh, we were talking about walking, right? And, and I talked to you all about this before, and uh, I'm geared to go into a dark space. And um, he uh, shared with me that, you know, he liked to do a lot of exercise and walking too. And we're talking about walking because exercise, sometimes when you run, it mess up your ankles, your knees, things like that, especially if you don't have the right kind of shoes. But um, walking, you know, he gave an example of his mom lived at 86 years old, but she did a lot of walking. I reminded of one of my other homeboys, friends, uh, Kenny Douglas, Miss Douglas. She's still around in her 80s, you know, and, um, uh, you know, she you, she walk all over the city. And so for sure, you know, you got to get out and exercise. If you don't get to the gym and hit those weights or and cardio. Uh, make sure you get some walking in at least 10,000 steps each and every day because you got to prioritize your health if you want to live long and if you want your um, mental state to be good. Next thing I want to bring up is uh, talking about your purpose and meaning in life, right? Um, find your passions, find your your purpose, things that you like to do, right? Uh, discover who you are and what you want to do. And that's one of the best ways that you can discover your, um, your passions in life. Uh, so you got to have um, a purpose and meaning in life. So... Um, whether it's a hobby, whether it's something you're doing in the community or whatever it is, whatever your purpose, whatever it is to serve and to help other people because we're put here on planet Earth to help and serve other people. So find your purpose in life and your meaning in life, which will give you a better drive. And, and you got to prioritize that, right? Uh, your, your purpose shouldn't, should, should uh, never uh, um, be, how can I put this? Um, you should never lower your standards uh, uh, to uh, put other people before what your purpose is, right? Your purpose should be about serving people, helping people, and doing those type of things. Uh, next thing uh, we we'll gonna talk about is relationships. And this is important, prioritize your relationships because a lot of people, um, they're really not prioritizing you in their relationships. So make sure you prioritize your relationships with your family, with your friends and loved ones. and. Be able to identify truly who are your friends and your loved ones. A lot of times people, you know, they want to have a relationship with you from a distance. They want to call you and and ask a bunch of questions and, and and things like that, but really not checking on you for your well-being, really not picking up the phone and calling you and saying, hey, I'm going to come by and pick you up so we can go bowling or, or go fishing or do something, you know, together to build a strong bond and a strong relationship with each other. People normally, if they prioritize you in their relationship, they will spend time with you. And I'm not just talking about on the phone. Technically speaking, I really hate talking on the phone. It's a waste of time, bunch of gossip, and don't really get you nowhere. But what I do love is spending time with people, right? Where you call me and say, hey, let's go out to eat, you know, or whatever we need to do. But you got to make sure that the people that you're prioritizing in your life, they're prioritizing you too. Because a lot of times what I find out is that people will not see you as a priority, right? That you are a convenience. When they have nothing going on in their life, they want to spend a lot of time with you. But then once they get a lot of things going in their life, you become a second thought, right? And I understand people are busy, but shoot, I'm busy as heck every day. But I make time for those who want to spend time with me and build those relationships. So you got to prioritize that in your life. Then the last thing I would say is, you know, you got to prioritize your career and financial stability. If you want to leave something behind, 
You got to make sure you invest. You got to make sure your values and your passions align with whatever type of job or career you want to do, whether you work for somebody else or start your own business, but you got to prioritize those things. So those are the five things that I believe you should prioritize. You know, prioritize your health and your well-being, prioritize your purpose and meaning in life, prioritize relationships, and prioritize your career and financial stability. All right, God bless you.